and welcome back to the Raw Dr. V's channel, and today we're taking a look at the Stars of Black series, Morgan Elsbeth from the Ahsoka line. Look at the front of the box, you get the figure that is included, and here you get the name of the line that the character is from, and their name down here. And outside of the box you get this amazing artwork of Morgan Elsbeth, and like I mentioned before, By adding more figures to the same line, you can create a mural. So here's Elsbeth alongside the assassin droid. And in the back of the box, you get a bigger portrait of the character, a description, the number which it falls into the line, and a bunch of little warnings. Here's the side of the box, the bottom, and the top. And I'll go ahead and open her up, and we see what's inside. Here she is, Algaro Plastic. And here she is out of the box. And looking at her up close, she looks pretty good. I like the uh, outfit. Matches up very much with what we've seen in the series so far. And of course, I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. Look at the head. It looks very nice. And again, Hasbro nailed it with the photo real tech that they used for her. Looks very much like the actress. You see she has printing in the eyes, the eyebrows, and... She has like this tattoo or this mark here on her forehead, but the hairstyle looks amazing. She has like, you know, this uh, black for the main part, and then it sort of like turns into this blonde color. Looks very nice. And she does have a joint here at the neck as well as top of the head, so you get quite a bit of movement. Here side to side, all the way up and down. Look at the torso. She has this like kimono style outfit. And on the top, she has like this very dark maroon uh, color for the uh, top of her outfit. Um, and then she also has like some red sort of like marks going down here in the front. And then here in the back, you get some nice wrinkles. And then, of course, you get that sort of like complete look as well as in the sleeves. And she does have a ball joint here at the waist. So here's side to side, all the way back and forward. Look at the arms. The arm sticks out about there, and it goes all the way around right uh, like that. Her elbow goes up about there. She has a swivel here at the elbow, and she does have articulation here at the wrist and at the hand, so that's nice to know. The other side as well. Arm sticks out about there, goes all the way around. Her elbow goes up about there. She has a swivel here at the elbow, and she does have articulation here at the wrist and at the hand. Look at the waist. She has this like uh, black wrap going around her waist. And she has this small little pendant here on the side. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Look at the legs. Her legs do go out into a swim position. And they do go out into a oh, same position. And they go back about there. And as you guys saw, uh, the sort of like bottom part of her outfit is made of a flexible plastic, so that's good to know. But she does have a swivel here on both her thighs. And her knees do go back into a kneeling position, just like that. And look at the feet. The feet do point down about there. They do point all the way up right there. And she does have rock wrinkles. So it's a cool action poses. So that was an overview of the figure. Honestly, for me, it's a 50-50. I love the figure in general, everything is on point, and the articulation isn't that bad, but the reason I'm saying that is because, if you guys didn't notice it, she doesn't come with any accessories at all, and I'm going to agree with the Yak Face here that uh, he had posted on Instagram talking about that, and I would have at least, like he said, added a few accessories or even the sort of like changeable face where it... uh you know, changes with cold weather or whatever. But I am a little disappointed that a $25 figure doesn't include anything extra to it, you know what I mean? And that's pretty surprising to me. And I know this after, you know, Mandalorian and things like that, but I can already tell you guys, they're going to re-release this character and have her with the little staff, and that's pretty much it. I can already tell. So yeah, overall, this is my least favorite character in this lineup. But something to do at the end of these reviews. Make sure you guys have display of figures. 
having the box in the back, and the figure in the front. Millennial Lee here, and so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content that you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.